Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to another Knights of the Old Republic video. Today we're looking at the Duxin fog fix for KOTOR 2. In the current Steam version, the fog on Duxin looks like, well, this. The fog sucks and it sticks to a bunch of things, it doesn't look very good, and we're going to fix it, making it look a little bit more like what you see on the right hand side of the screen here, fading into the full here. We're gonna make the fog look like actual fog. I don't think I can really explain this more than that, so I'm not going to waste any more time and we're just going to get to the actual installation. Well, I guess one more thing, uh, I am following a set of instructions that were posted to Reddit by a user named Tony Kaku, so I'll link to his post down below. Uh, we're going to start off by downloading Shader Override. Head over to the download button for the Happy Fun Time OpenGL32 DLL, hitting Keep if it prompted, and then dragging this file to your desktop. From here, we are going to go to your Steam, Steam Apps Common, Knights of the Old Republic 2 folder. This is the same location where your SWKOTOR2.exe is located, as you can see right here. We are going to take the file that we downloaded, drag and drop it into the folder, hitting Replace if prompted. After that, we're going to go ahead and launch Knights of the Old Republic 2. So head over to Steam, hit play, and then we're going to launch. And the fog isn't fixed yet, if that's what you're thinking, this wasn't that easy, so go ahead and hit quit. Go back to your folder and you will find two new folders inside of this, shaders underscore original and shaders override. You're going to go ahead and navigate your way inside the shaders original folder. So go ahead, click on that, and you'll be presented with a bunch of text files that look like nonsense. Well, you could open these up with Notepad, I would highly recommend using a program called Notepad++. I will put a link in the description of this video to a video that covers that program. From here, we are going to need to locate a specific line, movresult.color.r0. You can see it highlighted on screen right here. We're going to find that line and we're going to navigate to the link in the description to the fog changes in the readme. And we're going to look at this big hunk of text right here that I've highlighted. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take everything from the uh, pram p section down, so the stuff that I'm highlighting right here, we're going to go ahead and copy that and we're going to paste it above the uh, line that we found there, the mauve result color. Then we need to save. Now if you're following along at home, I would actually hold off on that saving there unless you're uncomfortable with downloading programs that can batch edit text. Because if you look here, we need to edit that line on pretty much all of these text files right here, which is going to take a very long time, which is where fnr.exe enters the fray. I'll put a link to it in the description and I'll quickly talk about it here, but there'll be a video forthcoming that'll cover it in more detail. FNR is a batch find and replace tool that allows you to mul edit multiple text files all at once. What we need to do to get this to work is select the directory. In this case, you can copy the shader's original folder or you can click on this here and navigate along to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Knights of the Old Republic 2, and select Shaders Original. This is where all of our text files are located inside. Once we've done that, you're going to need to find the section that needs to be uh, found, in which case we're going to use the mob result color file here. Uh, so go ahead and find that and put it in the top box exactly, so just copy paste it. Then in the replace section, we're going to grab all of this stuff here from the readme. Again, copy paste all of those lines exactly as they are. Now since we don't actually want to get rid of the original line, we're going to copy it from the top box, start a new line, and add it to the bottom. So essentially we're replacing the top line, which is one single mauve results color, with the entire section including itself. So once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit the replace button and it's going to batch replace all instances of that line, essentially fixing the fog for you instantly instead of doing tedious text edits. Once you've done that, Notepad++ may ask you if you'd like to uh, refresh it, in which case hit yes, and we can see right here that things have been changed. Now just to confirm it with ourselves, I'm going to launch Notepad, boom, right there, that section has been added. Awesome, that saves a lot of time that would have been very tedious, trust me. Okay, so now that we have done all of the text files at once, we are going to need to copy all of them. So select any of the files in the section, hit Control A, and then hit Copy to copy all of the shaders original. And we're essentially just going to paste them into the shaders override file. So that is select a file, hit Control A, copy, and then paste it into shaders override. From there, we can launch Knights of the Old Republic and make sure that everything worked, which it should have. 
All right, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've included a couple of quick scenes that just show a comparison of the fog with the before and after, if you're not sure if this is worth doing. I think it definitely is. Duxin looks pretty awful. I never really noticed the fog problems until someone pointed it out, but after seeing the fog before and after, uh, especially in scenes like this where the cliffs aren't affected by the fogs, it's really, really nice to get that uh, atmosphere back into the planet as the way the developers originally intended for things to go. Uh, so there you go. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed my return to uh, making videos. And yeah, until next time, I have been Zool, and I hope that you have an excellent day. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you're wondering what to watch next, I have provided two videos for you. You can click them right here. Get subscribed by clicking on that circle icon and subscribing to my channel. And please follow myself and Shoelace on the social medias that you see above. Thank you, and have an excellent day.